Hello everyone and welcome to our third lesson for Health 10 Quarter 1, Complementary and Alternative Healthcare Modalities. So in the previous lesson, you have learned about quackery as a form of health fraud. So quackery is any advertisement or promotion or sale of products and services uh, that have not been scientifically proven safe and effective. Um, so consumers today face an amazing area of choices when they consider taking action to improve their health for a health problem. So there are other forms of healthcare and other alternatives. So these are generally called the comp complementary and alternative medicines. So complementary and alternative medicines, we, we will discover that in our lesson for today. So complementary and alternative medicines are treatments that are applied along with typical and acceptable medical treatments but are considered standard. So these include herbal medicine, magnetic fields, nutrition therapy, acupressure, movement therapy, mental exercise, etc. So there are four uh, major domains of complementary and alternative medicine. First is the biological-based practices. So examples of biological-based practices is taking herbal medicine. Second is energy medicine. So energy medicine uses magnetic field as of biofields. Next is manipulative and body-based practices. So these are body kinesthetics or that are concerned with movement therapy and the body or mind body medicine it uses mental exercise in the belief that the brain is essential to health next let's discover or go deeper with health herbal medicine so there are 10 herbs that are proven and tested to have medicinal value and approved by the DOH or the Department of Health. So let's discover some of that. We have herbal medicines, the Acapulco or the ringworm bush. So for ringworm and other skin fungal infections, so these are effective for um, any ringworm and other skin fungal infections. We have next is the Ampalaya. Ampalaya or the bitter ground or bitter melon. So this is good for non-incident dependent diabetic patients. Next we have is bawang or garlic. This, this is good for blood pressure control. Another one we have another we have the bayabas or the guava. This is for the use of antiseptic to disinfect wounds for mouthwash or tooth decay and gum infection. Lagundi or the five-leaf chase tree or the vertex vitex digundo for cough and asthma. Nyognyogan, the Chinese honeysuckle for intestinal worms, particularly Asca Ascaris and Trichina. The pansit pansitan or the ulas ulasimang bato or the silver bush or shiny bush is for arthritis and gout. Sambong or blumia balsamifera for urinary stones. Chaang gubat or forest tree or wild tree is for mouthwash. And yerba buena or peppermint for relief from body aches and other pains. We have also alternative medicines. So these uh, refers to a variety of therapeutic or preventative healthcare practices that are not typically taught in medical schools nor used in conventional medicine, hence the term alternative. So first we have the acupuncture. So it is a form of energy medicine where long thin needles are inserted to specific parts of the body to affect the energy flow. So acupuncture is believed to treat musculoskeletal dysfunctions. 
reflexology. So similar to acupuncture, ref- reflexology focuses on treating a specific disorders through massaging the palms of the hand and soles of the feet. Nutrition therapy uh, approaches the treatment of a medical condition by providing tailored diet for the patient. Acupressure uses the same technique as that of acupuncture. The only difference is that acupressure does not use needles but hands to apply pressure on specific points of the body. Next and last is the Ventosa Cupping ma- ma- Massage Therapy. So these, this procedure is done by placing inverted glass with flames from burning cotton on specific points of the, bo- of the body. So it is believed to relieve muscles and joint pains. So also as a wise consumer, You need to know the different laws that can protect you and help you in your speedy recovery if you are ill. So some of these are first, the Traditional and Alternative Medicine Act or TAMA. So it provides for the improvement of quality and delivery of healthcare services in the country through the development of traditional and alternative healthcare and its integration into the healthcare system. Second is the Consumer Act of the Philippines or RA 7394. So it protects the interest of consumers and promotes their general welfare. So it also establishes standards of conduct for business and industry. Last one is the Cheaper Medicines Act or RA 9502. It is intended to achieve universally acceptable or accessible and cheaper and quality medicine by purchasing an effective competition uh, competition policy in the pharmaceutical sector. So as we end, remember from our topic, the two healthcare modalities are alternative and complementary medicines. The four major complementary and alternative medicine Domains are biological-based practices, energy medicine, manipulative and body-based practices, and mind-body medicine. The five examples of alternative medicine are acupuncture, ventosa cupping, massage therapy, reflexology, acupressure, and nutritional therapy. Some of the consumer laws are TAMA. The Consumer Act of the Philippines and the Cheaper Medicine Act. So these laws help protect the interests of the consumer. They also promote their general welfare and provide for alternative or alternate cheaper but quality treatment. And that ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something.